Not a little bit of confidence, is there? No. Tell you what. You were, you were flipping them over on a right regular basis, weren't you? Yeah, what we were hoping to do is get up close behind them straight away and lay into the bottom of them with the, with the hammer. Mm. But they, flip, you know, they were self-writing quite quickly, so we weren't um, able to do that. When they were on the wall, trying to get off, yeah. why didn't you come and flip them out your I was going to say, we did make a tactical error there. We thought, you know, afterwards we should have just drove straight in and oiked them out. But next time, if there is a next time to anyone else, we won't be so kind. We shall just get in there and out. But there is going to be a next time. And that next time's going to be Dominator 2. Yeah, well... How do you feel about that? And this is another battle of the axes. It's going to be quite tricky. If we can flip them over and push them into either one of the house robots or over the side, we're in with a chance. What about you, Andrew? Looking forward to fighting Dominator 2? Mm, yeah, a bit scared because they're seated. Ooh, could be brown trousers time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Hydra! Good old tussle that, but come and get tricks are out, and Hydra are through to the heat final, where they will meet the number six seeds, Dominator 2. And just before you go into battle with Hydra, you're all nice and relaxed now. Yeah, we're calm now. And we talked after the last fight, not much damage, you thought. No, well, there's a bit of a surprise. When we took the shell off, um, when more came across the ring and hit us, um, a bit like being hit by a Land Rover at 40 mile an hour, we found that the polycarp base was actually split clean in half. Just from that impact? Just from that one impact, yeah. So you had quite a lot of work to do in the end? A lot of plating, yes, <laughs> unfortunately. Now, what about Hydra? Is that like being hit by a Land Rover, do you think? No. Or worse? No, no, Hydra will be all right. What are your tactics? Really, get round the side of them and tip them on their side. We've got a good flipping mechanism, okay. so that's the right phrase for it. Yeah. So uh, get them over, push them into the wall. And then get the underbelly or then get them over the side? What Whatever we can. Whichever Whatever one you can. can. And who's doing the driving? Andrew drives. How are you feeling? Nervous. It's getting serious now, isn't it? Yeah. Did you think you'd get this far? No, probably not. <laughs> so, up in the crow's nest, what do we think about Dominator 2 against Hydra? Matt Irvin's joined me from the judges' panel, a man who's been busy with Dominator 2 uh, tonight. When you make those decisions, and sometimes they're controversial, go for style, damage, control and aggression, but is there one overriding factor for you? Well, damage is really the overriding, but sometimes you've got a robot that can't be damaged. Dominator 2 is one of those robots, actually. It's got very, very tough skin, very difficult to see has it been damaged or not. So you go to the next one, which is aggression, and then you can actually see it. You know, is the robot actually getting in there? Is it holding back and sort of saying, oh, I don't really want to fight, you know? Is it getting in there? So really, I suppose that aggression in some ways can be more important than damage sometimes. And this is one of the most powerful axes around, isn't it, Dominator It's a two. very frightening-looking axe, I have to say. Although I, I also have to say that sometimes it doesn't really hit sometimes. So it's a lot of noise, a bit of show, no go. Hydra, lightly armoured, can flip. Yeah, Hydra's quite manoeuvrable, because it's a, it's a newer robot. It was in, in Series 5, um, so it's a little bit of an unknown. We've only ever seen it the once there. It really could go either way on this. OK, well, you have to be impartial. You yeah, can't yeah. give a tip. I can, and I'm going to be very bullish. I'm going Dominator 2 and easy. Well, we've seen some amazing battles tonight, but it looks like the best is yet to come. Fasten your seatbelts. This is the heat final! Hydra. Go on, Hydra. Prove me wrong, Dennis and Andrew. Dominator 2. Will the seeds go through? Dominator 2. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Sir Killalot! Look at those pincers. And shunt to bulldoze and shot. Three, two, one. Active. I think Hydra has to get Dominator 2 into a CPZ, lift it up and let the house robots play. Dominator 2's mighty axe comes down, but as Matt was saying, it has a poor hit and miss ratio. Hydra have overturned Dominator 2, exposing that polycarp base, which we heard split in the last fight. Dominator 2 stop riding very, very quickly. And mean and moody with the axe, gunning for revenge. That was a great attack, though, by Hydra. I've been impressed with 13-year-old Andrew and Dennis. They've combined very, very well as a team. And they could spring a mighty surprise here. Dominator 2 looked cagey, didn't it? Don't hit the arena floor. There's no point, Dominator boys. Again, Hydra's flipped them up. Dominator 2, can they self-right? Yes, they can, and very quickly and very stylishly, too. 
down comes the Dominator 2 Axe. So it's grappled Hydra, but what are they going to do now? Because it's certainly, for me, fought shy of pulling Smitty into a pit in the previous battle. And again, it's let Hydra go. The judges will mark against there. Dominator 2's Axe blows. There it sticks. Hydra away. Back for another attack. Dominator 2. Great rhythm with the axe, but what damage is it causing the Hydra team? Is it superficial or are they puncturing and getting through to the very heart of the matter? The Dominator 2 team there, Chris Paul Elliott. Hydra on the arena sidewalks. Needs to get away. And I'll tell you something, Hydra all of a sudden does look a little battle weary. Trying once again to get the pneumatic flipper in underneath Dominator 2. But there is a spring in the step of Dominator 2 now. Or is that just my imagination? And they are puncturing Hydra. Look at the holes in Hydra. That must be causing damage. And Hydra is a weary bot out there at this moment in time. Once again, the Dominator 2 team. We've seen them very experienced. Through to the series semi-final in Robot Wars, the fifth wars and the fourth wars. Good robots have beaten them in the past. It's taken a good robot, like Hypnodisc, like Pussycat. And Hydra up against it now. You just sort of sense that it had turned when Hydra came out of that attack moments ago and looked sluggish for the first time in this entire heat. It is slowed, I would say, that control response has been diminished. The weaponry looks less effective. Dominator 2 are well on top now. There is a, a gleam in their eyes. They know it. Hydra, oh. They say, oh, can we get, can we, can we get a grip? I don't think so. It's down to its last breath. Hydra, secure a lot of weights. Well, what a good attempt by Hydra, but Dominator 2 has it for me. Splendid heat final. What a fantastic battle. It's going to have to go to the judges. While they're making up their minds, let's see the highlights. Craig, it'll be interesting to see where it turned because Hydra here turned Dominator 2 over, exposing the suspect underbelly. Another good attack. They were on top of this stage, no doubt. But I think it was this systematic scene that caused the damage. And from now on, it was Dominator 2 for me. But what do I know? The judges have made the decision based on style, control, damage, and aggression. And they've gone for Dominator 2! Are you disappointed? Mm, a bit, yeah. What was your plan? How did you think you were going to uh, defeat them? The idea was to get round the side, flip them over, which I think we did once or twice in the early yeah. stages. We would try and get them into the co one of the corners and hope one of the house robots would come and assist, or if we could get them against the side of the arena, try and flip them out. But I think Andrew, really, real good drive, you know. Yeah, you drove um, really well. We'll Thanks, be back. Yeah. You gonna come back next year? Yeah. Bigger and better, yeah. stronger. That's what we like on Robot Wars. Let's hear it for Hydra. <laughs> the a six seed. We are. And you're justifying it, really, at the moment, aren't you? We're doing our best to, yeah. Want to do it justice. Were you worried about coming up against Hydra, or do you think you had them beaten up? No, we were actually quite worried. Um, yeah. It's quite a tough robot, and they've got a lot of pushing power. In the early stages, they actually flipped. Yeah. Flipped and flipped, you know? Yeah, there, there's a little bit of, um, what's the word, panic, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about the series semis? I mean, who would you rather not fight, and who would you uh, like to come up against? Oh, I'd love to have a crack at Razor. Would you really? Yeah. They're the world champions. They're the UK champions. They're seeded number one. And you reckon yeah. you can have them? We'll have a go. All right, come on, Razor. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Let's hear it for Dominator 2! <laughs> you don't need spots or boils or sores, and you can't wear an anorak on Robot Wars. Bye-bye.